There are a number of legal challenges we have to the instant proceedings. This morning we filed in this court a motion to dismiss the indictment for violation of the double jeopardy clause. We also this morning filed a separate motion for a supervisory order and a request for a stay in the Chicago, Illinois Supreme Court challenging the authority to appoint a special prosecutor in the first place. So Judge Tooman's June 21st order in which he granted a special prosecutor was flawed. It was contrary to the statute. Um, the statute basically only allows the judge to appoint a special prosecutor under two very discreet situations. And Judge Tooman found that neither of those applied. He then went further and granted it anyway um, on the grounds that what Ms. Fox had done was the equivalent of a recusal. And that's actually not what the statute says, and so his order was exceeded his authority, and we are hopeful that the Supreme Court will agree and will reverse the order. So one of the protections that the Double Jeopardy Clause provides is not to punish somebody twice for the same offense. Previously, he did forfeit his bond in the amount of $10,000. That, in essence, was a, a punishment stemming from the criminal proceedings, and therefore trying to punish him again a second time around is not permitted under the du Double Jeopardy Clause. You, you don't just get a do-over. Um, he's obviously fr frustrated to be dragged through this process again, but he has tremendous support. He was surrounded by his family today who flew in from California to be here with him today. And he's, he's strong, he's resilient, he'll get through this, but it's frustrating. His primary concern is moving on himself. I mean, it's, it's really hard to believe that we're all here one year later at the arraignment of this case, well over a year after the incident happens.